but of course I'm definitely going to be filming my mum she's not going to like it she's camera shy so if she doesn't say a peep don't think that she's being rude she's not she's just a bit camera shy but we'll see what happens hey everyone today we are going to be making a vegetarian meal of eggplant lasagna and we are going to the shops my mum's coming with me and i'm going to learn how to make it i haven't done my eyebrows today all i've done is a bit of eyeliner mascara i put on spf 50 plus with the new rimmel concealer and foundation in one the wake me up multitasker loving it so far yesterday i forgot to report how it wore during the day it wore very very well and i just have some lip moisturizer on my lips now let us sorry i don't have my camera mounted so i keep slipping let us get to the shops and look for some vegetables to put in our vegetable eggplant lasagna So what are you doing now? I'm slicing the capsicums so I can saute them with garlic, zucchini, in olive oil. Mm hmm It's got the traffic light capsicums happening, red, green and yellow. Now we're using just one zucchini, mum, one mm, zucchini. Yeah. Now I'm going to use them all because the leftovers I'm going to put in the fridge for like an anti-pesto oh, yeah. on sandwiches. So get me the other two as well. Yeah. So all the capsicum and the zucchini is now cut up and with the abundance of zucchini and capsicum mum said she's going to roast them so you can have them on a sandwich or with whatever you desire chicken fish or just on their own i think now mum is going to what are you doing now put in i'm going to start i just keep the olive thing, oil yeah, yeah extra virgin olive oil oh yeah is that a wok it's a large frying pan. Oh, yeah. A deep frying pan. And now, what are you going to do with the garlic? I'm going to slice it and saute it. And the eggplant? Well, when we get to that, I'll show you, tell you more. Uh -huh. How many cloves of garlic do we put in I think seven the, the more garlic the tastier yeah that smells beautiful already So no onion in this? No. Yeah, it's just and now what? Now we have to wait because we we'll put these in. That's translucent. This is going to be roasted? Yeah.
So ground black pepper, some chili flakes, and that's what sea salt. Mm -hmm. And what's this? Granul granulated California garlic. Okay. And now mum is peeling the eggplants. So how many are you going to use in the lasagna? I just want to see, because I've got a, I'm only using a small pan. So. Mm. Oh, they see this. Wow. Now I'm going to preheat the oven mm -hmm. to 250. Yeah, warm it up a bit. And spray the eggplant with extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Uh, this much salt. About a, uh, a teaspoon of salt. Um, just a sprinkle of black pepper. Probably maybe half a teaspoon. From a garlic powder. And just a sprinkle of chili flakes to your liking. Another five minutes and turn off it. So now what do we do now that you we've got it cool for how long? Just till they're cool. Yeah. And then you have to add the ricotta cheese and the parmesan. Oh yeah. Eggplants going in the oven. Till till soft. So guys, now we just wait for the capsicum or the peppers to cool. And once they've cooled down, then we can start doing the layers. Um, on top of the cooked eggplant and everything else, the sauce and all that stuff. We're gonna be adding ricotta cheese, which is this one here. For some reason, this is the only ricotta cheese that works the best in the uh, lasagna. We've got some Parmesan cheese as well to sprinkle on top. So with the leftovers, we're going to be putting them in the oven to cook and then what, cool down and put them in the fridge yeah. to have them for antipasto. for antipasto and whatever you want to, whatever you want to use it for. Yeah. Side dish, steaks, fish. Yep. I'll do that eggplant as well. Mm-hmm. Is that going to go in the lasagna as well? Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Ah, shit.
This is what happens when you know that there's a camera on you. What's the olive oil for? To marinate them. Oh yeah, before you put them in the oven? Yep. Oh yeah. Salt, about a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Half a tablespoon of salt. In other words, just a, a sprinkle of salt with yeah, your fingers. And that, and garlic powder, and olive oil. Yep. Till they're well marinated. Mm hmm And then you just toss them. A little sprinkle of black pepper. Yep. And bit of chili flakes for a bit of bite mm -hmm. that's it and then where do you transfer that into the yeah, just pan? In, yeah oh that's too Ooh, much it that's a matter. lot it doesn't matter because you want them to bake and not be very soft so. yeah yeah how good does that look we just need to, where can we get focaccia bread from? I just want to make like a vegetable focaccia. You have to go to Leichhardt. Do you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. I don't want to go all the way to Leichhardt just to get that. Well, why don't you look on the internet and just put it, place it in the oven. Yeah. That's it. Until, until soft. All right. Yeah, and that's it. Had another five minutes. Mm -hmm. What's this? That's the base just to oh, what sauce the is it? Yeah. You can use whatever sauce you want to your liking. Okay, I'm gonna put some organic pasta classic bolognese sauce yeah but then you can use whatever one you want oh yeah so once you put the sauce down what are you going to put on top of the sauce the eggplants once they once they're finished. finished okay is that oil that pan no, oh, no that's non stick a non stick pan cheese so now we mix the ricotta cheese in with the veggies mm -hmm. do you want to taste a bit to see if you need any Salt. But I already tasted the capsicum. Yeah, but now with the ricotta, because ricotta is usually is unsalted. Just oh. see. Mm. Just try try a piece of capsicum, or try the ricotta cheese. Try that. I'll just try this little bit here. If you want. No, it doesn't need salt. Mm. So the eggplant is now ready and what do we need to wait for them to cool down as well? No, not really. Aren't they hot? No, they're not bad. So then you just do that. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. So you lay out the eggplant slices on top of the sauce. Oh yeah. Do you need breadcrumbs in this recipe? No. Oh. You can put herb breadcrumbs in it if you want. Oh. Don't you never use, use bread, oh, breadcrumbs in it? Oh, I thought you used to no. do that. And then you just start placing this like that on each eggplant. So is it just the whole layer is going to go on top of this? Yeah. Or the yeah. whole thing? Yeah. No. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, we have to do another, another layer. layer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another layer of sauce, tomato, bolognese sauce. And then another layer of eggplant. There's two left, so you could do it like that. Why let them go to waste? See? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was an, the right amount. I know, I didn't even measure. Perfect. Well, I've been doing it for so long. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they always know. seem to make the right amount. Yep. There we go. Put a bit more on that. Oh yeah. And then now, what do we do? Well. We just prepared it and then we have to bake it in the oven. Are we going to put the parmesan cheese on top? Yeah, and then we're going to bake it in the oven when we're ready at uh, 250 mm -hmm. on the highest. Oh, yeah. But, uh, covered. Covered and then uncover it for the last, say, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the remaining sauce goes on top of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put it all in, drown it, that's it. Parmesan cheese, sprinkle on top. And cover, and then put it in, put in oven for, mm, I reckon, 20 minutes, and then uncover for the last 10 minutes. So altogether it's half an hour. So 20 minutes covered, and then uncover for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. There. So what have you covered it with uh, our foil? Yep, and now I'm going to place it in the oven for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and the last 10 minutes I'm going to uncover mm -hmm. and let it go brown and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then, then turn off it. Okay, so you heard what the lady said. We'll be back when the lasagna is finished. Yeah. Hey Siri, where can I buy focaccia bread? Hey Siri. These are the leftover vegetables, how they turned out. So yummy. I reckon another I reckon another 15 minutes and I and that's it. Mm hmm And then I'll put the lasagna in. Okie dokie. And what are we gonna do now? Do you wanna have a coffee? We've already had our coffee. <laughs> Do you want another one? Oh, God. Are we going to go to Annie's today? I don't know yet. Um, we have to ring and see about 12 o'clock if she's going to be home. Uh, Okie doke. All right, Mum's just put the lasagna into the oven now and we cook it for 20 minutes. Yep, and take on, the oven full. Yeah, but when, um, what's the temperature? 250. Yeah. 250 degrees Celsius and the alfoil is on there for 20 minutes and then remove for 10 minutes for the cheese to melt and now the these uh, vegetables are now finished and they can be cooled down and put in the fridge yeah to the be sandwiches, yeah and all that sides, sort of stuff. whatever yeah yeah how's it going that we cooked I'm going to saute it not reheat it and crack eggs into it and then dip crusty bread and have that like that. It'll be really, really nice. I reckon it'll look beautiful. It'll taste beautiful. <laughs> it'll taste beautiful. Yeah, you just saute it. It's already cooked, so you just heat it through. Mm -hmm. And then you get your eggs, crack it, make a little hole in the, a dent in the capsicum, mm -hmm. and then just crack an egg. Whatever, depending on how many people are eating it. We crack the eggs in there, bit of salt, bit of pepper, a bit of chili flakes, and cover till the egg is cooked, and then yum. Mm. Yeah.
Yum, yum. And guys, this is the end result of the beautiful vegetable lasagna. Can't wait to try it. We, we put zucchini in it, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. So now we let this cool for how long? Um, around 15 minutes, that'll be easier to slice. Oh, yeah. And then um, you can eat it straight away? Yep. Okay. Certainly can. It's going to be a warm one today in mm. Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. I just put the coffee on and making a bit of coffee. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that would be good after my hard day's work. <laughs> But don't make a lot, I only want one cup. Absolutely delicious. <laughs>